Today's episode of Film Riot's brought to you by FreshBooks Online Invoicing and the Motorola Zoom. All right, all right now, keep it going. So nice. Today on Film Riot, we build a light and a dimmer, then update Uranus. Hi, hello. We're a show that talks about filmmaking stuff. Ryan Conley. So I was talking to Josh the other day and he was like, dude, I have to tell you something crazy important. And I was like, yeah, brother, shoot, I'm here for you. But then an email came in and I stopped paying attention. I keep hearing about China balls and I'm not talking about the ones in China, but dumb chi. But seriously, I would love to know what they are and what they do. First of all, we do the jokes around here. And fourthly, Funny you bring that up because I was about to build one to use on Tell. So, come along with me. Let's stroll through the land of China Ball Buildery. A China Ball, which is also called a paper lantern or a Chinese lantern, is a paper ball that houses a light which floats in the center to create a nice omnidirectional light. That was a really good description of it. Kind of proud of myself right now. Pop your color. If you want to build one of these lovely little babies for yourself, you need to buy a few things, but fret not, it is super cheap. First is the paper lantern. I got a Lincraft 24 inch China ball from filmtools.com, then also from the Film Tools site, I ordered the practical light socket, then finally went to Home Depot and picked up some light bulbs. Altogether, I only spent like $20. So once you have all of that stuff, the obvious next step is assembly. If you're anything like me, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open the China ball and make some kind of Karate Kid reference, but not the new one, the original. I wanna stress that point. Take the metal piece that comes with the China ball and put it through the center, hooking to the bottom and these two notches on top. Then take your bulb of choice and screw it into the socket. The best part about this is that you can choose different bulbs to vary in color, a bit warmer or a bit cooler if you want. So cooler. Now with the bulb you selected, lower that bad boy into the China ball till it's at the center. Then secure it using the top bracket. And that's it, your China ball is set up and ready to go. And as you can see, the quality of light you get is very soft and pleasant. I built this little beauty for Tell because of how lightweight and movable it is. So I can easily and safely mount it anywhere needed. And I can also boom the light, which will come in handy for a few scenes in Tell where a character moves down a hallway. Since there is no way to hide lights there, I'll just boom the China ball above them and follow them as they move through the room. Another great thing about the China ball is the eye light you get from it. What's an eye light you ask? Well, it's this little devil right here. This reflection of light inside your actor's eyes can mean the difference between a really great shot and one that feels like it's lacking, since having that light inside their eyes gives them life and makes them more attractive to look at. It will also allow you to make your shot more contrasty without leading towards that underlit amateur look. And there you have it, a super cheap to build and easily customizable tool for filmmaking. So go make your own and pretend to hold the sun inside of your hands. The Motorola Zoom is the first tablet powered by Android 3.0 Honeycomb. With a 10.1 inch HD widescreen display, 3D interfacing, and a 1 GHz dual core processor. Fully flash enabled for video rich web with tabbed windows for multitasking and Chrome bookmark syncing. With Google Maps that you can tilt, rotate, and zoom into a 3D photo real street view. It's 4G upgradable so you can leap from 3G to Verizon's 4G LTE and mind melting upper limits of speed. Logo. You're back, and so am I. What? What? You said something. No. Yes. Yes what? Hey Rye, I wanted to buy a dimmer for my lights, but they're crazy expensive. Is there any way to make a DIY dimmer? Question mark. I have a dimmer that my daddy man person Papa Face, who is an electrical contractor, helped me build a while back. So I decided to take it apart to show you how to put it together. Ready, 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 ready. Ready. So here it is all taken apart. For parts, you can see that I have a deep four square electrical box, a whip, which is a plug at one end and exposed wire at the other, a connector on that, a receptacle, a dimmer, then a few wire nuts and bolts and screws. Make sure when you buy the dimmer, receptacle and whip that they are all rated high enough for the wattage you will be using. First, pop a hole in the top of your four square box and push the whip through, then use the lock nut to secure it on with the connector. Now, as you can see, the wires are already stripped because like I said, I have been using this already. 
As you can see, I already have the dimmer in the industrial cover, which has two wires. One that we will connect to the hot wire from our whip and the other that will connect to the hot side of the receptacle. This is what will control the amount of power that is going to your light. So first connect the dimmer to the hot wire of the whip. Then we will set up the receptacle and add the second wire from the dimmer to the hot side of the receptacle. Now you can tell the difference between the neutral and hot side on the receptacle by looking at the screws. On the hot side of the receptacle, the screw will be gold and on the neutral side, it will be silver. Now connect the ground wire to the receptacle, then to the box. Do not miss this step. Mucho importanto. That was Spanish for it's important. Then connect the receptacle to the plate and close it up with the screws. And you're done. Just be sure that when you use it, you plug in devices that are dimmable only. Do not plug in devices that should not be dimmed or you will F them up. And now you're able to dim things. So go dim crazy. Just dim it into shape. Shape it up. Dim it. Dim it good. I get it. The song. Yeah, they'll get it. You'll get it. It's time to update your anus with some updates. There's been a whole lot going on lately in the land o triune film, so I figured I would take a second to update Uranus. First of all, I'm super excited to say that we have launched a brand new show called Film State. And instead of explaining to you what it is, I'm just gonna show you a teaser we put together. So, roll it, Josh. Why do people say that? What? I obviously can't roll it right now. It's done later with post-production, with editing. It doesn't, it doesn't mean like really actually it's for li when we cut it together, it makes you ruin so much that I try to do. Welcome to Film State, the show where we're going to be filling you in on all the fantastical portions of film. Alien invasion battling the army in the middle of frickin' Los Angeles. And Gary Oldman's in it, and I could watch Gary Oldman in anything except the shower. I demand you go to this link and watch this right away, especially if you like sci-fi film. He's also rumored to direct Clash of the Titans 2, which is unfortunate because the first one was very bleh. Why? Go look at Squirrel's anus. Like, oh my God, you keep starving yourself. You're such a great actor. Eat an apple. And I'll see you next week when we talk more about trailers, movie news, and other ones. I've wanted to do this show for about a year now, so ta-da! I hope you guys dig it. We have our first episode up right now, so go to this link and check it, check it out. Let me know what you think at my Twitter. That's shameless. You're shameless. Ready? My Twitter! Ha ha ha! Aww. Is it there, really? Yeah. Aww. Second update from our Triune camp is that our filmmaker tees have arrived and they're available for order. This is one of them. They're selling out quick too, so if you're interested in using them to not be naked, make sure to toss your order in ASAP. And when you get your shirt, shoot me a picture over to my Twitter if you wanna have it used as a product shot on the website. We'll be swapping those out every now and again, so karate. The last anus update is that we are working on some big things this year with Filmrite, including a whole new look. We are currently in the course of rebranding the show and will be launching said sexy rebrand very soon. So bear with us the next few weeks as we restructure in an effort to take Filmrite to a whole new level. You may go off into the world. And then I'll freeze here and we'll use it as a sponsor time. Where's it gonna go? What? Where's what gonna go? The, spo the sponsor time thing. Right there. Are you sure? What? Are you sure? About what? About where it's gonna go. I might put it over there, or down there, or over there, or above you. Creative people and paperwork really don't get along that well, but if you're like me and own your own business, there's no getting around it. And when I first started out, the thing I hated most was invoicing, because it was really confusing at first. What do I add? What don't I add? Am I gonna look ridiculous? And that's where FreshBooks comes in, which is the easy to use online invoicing service that helps you get paid faster, and here's the big one, makes you look professional. So you can spend less time worrying about should I add that or not, and more time being creative. The best part about all of this is that it's completely free to sign up 
up. You get online invoicing where you can get paid on the spot and keep track of it all with an iPhone app. It's all totally free. And if that all wasn't good enough, they're doing something extra for our Film Riot viewers. They're giving away a birthday cake every single day to someone that signs up from our show. To be eligible to receive said birthday cake, just go to freshbooks.com and sign up. Then in the How'd You Hear About Us section, add Film Riot, and you might receive a yummy, delicious birthday cake. And that's it for this week. But be a pal o me on the interwebs by jumping over to twitter.com forward slash Ryan underscore Conley. Then if you want, you could sync up with us on our Facebook pages by going to our Film Riot Facebook page. And then if you're feeling super interactive, you can go to our new Film State Facebook page and friend us there. We're going to be doing a lot of interactive stuff, including top movie lists and group discussions on film. Okay, that's it. So I'll see you next week when I find a giant robot in the wilderness and he becomes my bestest friend. It is Iron Giant. Don't tell them. <laughs> Don't have outtakes for you this week because we're like all business. So instead, I'm going to repeatedly lift this 25 pound weight. It wasn't hard at first, but starting to get there. Stop complaining. I'm not complaining. I don't want to do it anymore. Keep going. I don't want to. Keep going. No. Go! No! You're such a baby. You're a baby. I'm not a baby. So keep doing it. No.